Hello everyone. I wanted to record this video. It's a 10 things you will want to pay attention to when traveling. These are the things that I've learned over the years are very important. After all, we plan our trips way ahead of time. We're looking forward to them and we want to stay safe as well as secure when we are away from home. So over the years, here are some of the important things that I've come up with to make sure that, that I am and my husband are safe as well as my family. So number one, and this is a huge bugaboo of mine, I keep telling my granddaughters when we're anywhere, do not put your hands down on an escalator handrail. Why? because those are known to be one of the dirtiest, germiest places on planet Earth, as far as that goes. Keep your hands off escalator rails. And if you have to put your hand down for balance or something else, make sure that you immediately afterwards drop a few drops of hand sanitizer and rub your hands together and hopefully all those Germs from the escalator will be gone, gone, gone. Number two, it's important when you're away from home to leave an itinerary with your family and friends. Um, they, they need to know where you are um, for many different reasons, but mainly if something happens and they don't hear from you, they want to know where you are, where you are. And another good thing to remember is to send text messages on a regular basis informing your family um, what you're up to in a particular place or on a particular day. Uh, this one's a good one. If you are going to bring valuables on your trip, which I hope most people would keep that to an absolute minimum, because valuables on a trip, well, they're not uh, easy to to care for or to keep safe. So it's important that those things be put in your hotel's safe in the room. That way you know that they'll be there when you return. I think that hotel safes are such a, such a great idea, but I also think traveling with fancy jewelry or anything like that is definitely not a good idea. One other thing that has always been very helpful to me, and that is asking advice from hotel clerks. These people are local people. They've been asked probably the same question over and over again, and they're very, very knowledgeable. So if you have a question about anything in their town, I would start by asking them, and if not, perhaps the hotel concierge if they have one. But that, those people are a really good source of honest, valuable information. When you're out and about, make sure to be wary of public Wi-Fi. It's the perfect spot where hackers and scammers can get into your device and create absolute havoc, steal your information, and in most cases you don't have a clue. So unless it's really, really important, I would try and keep my cell phone um, or my iPad turned off as much as possible in heavily populated public areas. Well, here's another thing that, that can be hard to do sometimes. For those of us who love a little uh, a little drink at the end of the day for relaxation and to talk to our traveling companion about our day's escapades, we like to have a glass of wine. I'm telling you, there is nothing more important than making sure you don't drink too much on a trip. Drink responsibly because drunk people can be taken advantage of so quickly it would make your head spin. So, and also we all know, because we've all seen it, 
it's very easy to spot somebody who is drunk. So beware of too many pops at the end of the day, but have one or two to relax yourself and enjoy being in vacation mode. Another thing that I found traveling overseas is so important is to make sure that you, if you need transportation around a particular town, that you use a reputable transportation company, Uber, Lyft, some company like that, because you know what the car looks like, you know the license plate, you know the name of the driver. And those are important. I would never, 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 ever pick up a ride on the side of the road. That can be a very, very dangerous situation. I remember a time in Sri Lanka when I was down there with a friend. Oh, we were having the best time. But I wanted to go and into the hotel and write some postcards, and she wanted to continue shopping. Well, several hours later, she wasn't back, and I was in panic mode. Anyway, she finally showed up around 6.30, and she had taken a, a, a car that she had picked up out of nowhere and gone way out of town to a jewelry shop that the driver said was the best in town. Well, you know, that guy was going to be getting a commission off of that jeweler. But anyway, I was so relieved to see her. But what what a stupid thing to do is to go somewhere in a car that you know nothing about, with people you know nothing about, in the middle of a foreign country. Ah, uh, that's a big, big, huge no-no. Of course, when we're traveling abroad, we love to go out to eat. It's such a luxury because it's a nice respite from having to cook meals at home. So I just have a couple of tips about ordering food in restaurants. First of all, most often restaurants that are crowded are usually more hygiene, uh, I, I mean, more are more are cleaner than those that are, you know, not quite as crowded. I, I, well, actually, that's not always true, but you can, if you're waiting in line to get to your table, you can see whether or not the waiters clear off the tables properly and so forth you get a sense of whether it's clean or not. So that's the number one thing. Make sure that your restaurant is clean. The other thing is that I have had to learn the hard way to stay away from raw fish. I ended up in the emergency room of a hospital in a foreign country with food poisoning as a result of eating raw oysters. But I've had friends who have had food poisoning from shrimp and other things as well. So I guess the advice here is just make sure that the food you eat is cooked well because it is no fun to be stuck feeling sick, really sick, and there's nothing worse. Oh gosh, food poisoning is just the worst and it can really mess up a couple of days of a really nice vacation. The other thing to be aware of is tap water. You need to know whether the tap water is safe. I personally never drink tap water in a foreign country. I just think it's a good way to keep keep away from anything potentially bad happening. So bottled water is what I always take along for me and my husband whenever we're out of the country. That way I'm 100% sure that we are drinking water that is safe for us. Oh, so last piece of advice, but not least, is it's so easy to get distracted when you're in a foreign country. You're having, you're absorbed by looking at beautiful landscape, interesting buildings, artwork, all the interesting people, everything that's going around you. And I, I have done it a million times being completely distracted because I'm so enjoying being absorbed in my environment. That being said, make sure you are aware of what is going on around you. There are pickpockets and 
people that would do you harm sometimes. So I'm just asking you to please be aware of your surroundings. Now, as I conclude, I just want to say that keep these tips in mind, but for goodness sakes, enjoy your trip. Safety risks are less likely for people who are aware and prepared, like I hope you will be having listened to this video. Anyway, remember that the only regret you'll have is a trip you don't take.